One of the most constant debates in the Avatar fandom has to do with the character Azula. Introduces the younger sister to Zuko, she is his total opposite in every way. While Zuko is more conflicted about what he's doing, Azula is gleefully evil. Towards the end of the series, we see more insight into how she became who she is, and her ultimate defeat is played not for triumph, but for tragedy. Before we begin, let me clarify, I think Azula is a terrific character and a fantastic villain with a lot of depth to her. She has layers to her, which is more than I can say for Ozai. But this started something else. A sizable amount of fans wanted to see Azula get redeemed. One thing I kept hearing was that Azula was so sympathetic. So, I'll just get straight to my point. She isn't. Or at least not to the extent that some fans see it. She has a sympathetic backstory, to be sure. In many ways, she is as much Ozai's victim as Zuko is, or a product of her family's upbringing. Based on everybody after Sozin, they were raised to be remorseless. Some good eggs happen, such as Iroh and probably Lu Ten and Zuko, but here's the thing about Azula. This isn't Magneto or Mr. Freeze we're talking about here, people. Magneto lived through the Holocaust and thus wants to keep other mutants from the same treatment he received. Mr. Freeze does what he does out of love for his wife. Azula, in comparison to those two, she just does what she does because she likes being evil. Case in point, Azula, when she's first introduced, is pretty much shown to be sociopathic. Zuko knows she's bad news at first, since it becomes clear that Azula likes to torment her brother whenever she can. Also, it's very clear that Azula is Daddy's favorite, as evidenced by the fact that she got better resources to achieve her mission of catching Zuko and Iroh. Also, one thing that was planned, but cut, because it couldn't get past the censors, was the captain of Azula's ship, who Azula tells, Maybe you should worry less about the Tides, who've already made up their mind about killing you, and worry more about me, who's still mulling it over. That wasn't going to be an idle threat. After he revealed Zuko and Iroh were prisoners, Azula was going to vaporize him on the spot. Not kidding. So that tells you that the creators had in mind that Azula is willing to kill to achieve her goals. We get introduced to our friends, Tylee and May who Azula is shown keeping in line via fear. In fact, with Tai Li, you get the sense that she's just shaking in her boots whenever Azula is near. Azula shows serious disregard for Tai Li's safety as she removes any kind of safety precaution. So if Tai Li got seriously hurt, would Azula have cared? She would have considered it, well, that's what you get. Also, the reason Azula is able to do lightning is apparently due to how cold she is. She has no qualms killing. In fact, after she defeats Zuko, who is down and defenseless, Azula tries to murder her own brother with lightning, but is only stopped by Iroh. Now, there are moments where she is nice to her brother, and I will try to cover some of them for the sake of being fair here. But I see a lot of people deciding that Azula should get to live with her redemption. But honestly, we had that story already, with Zuko. There's no need to repeat that story with Azula. In fact, Zuko's journey is specifically meant to show that he has redeeming qualities, such as how he got his scar, and in Zuko alone we see Zuko contemplating robbing a couple, but deciding not to upon seeing the woman is pregnant. Now let's put Azula in that situation. I imagine she just shrugs and goes through with it. In that episode, we see what Azula was like as a child, and it's not a pretty picture. Her cruelty was present even as a nine-year-old. She openly expresses that her uncle died in the war, and she also didn't seem to care too much when her cousin was killed in action. In fact, Azula in this episode is perhaps at her worst, smiling when her father is about to be punished, calling her uncle a quitter and a loser after losing his son, and her worst moment is this. Dad's going to kill you. Really, he is. Now, people like to point out that Zuko is alive because Azula told Ursa that Ozai was going to kill him, but based on her expression in this comic, Azula's reaction isn't, oh, Zuko's going to be okay, just a this is getting interesting type of look. I suppose her most evil action in the series is when she kills Aang. Granted, Aang is the enemy and it makes sense to do so, but her expression shows that she took rather sadistic delight in doing so. Also, the reason she gave Zuko the credit was due to her hunch that Aang survived, and that Zuko would receive the blame for it. The beach does show a more human side to Azula, such as being socially awkward, and Grey Delisle was having way too much fun with this episode, and moments that have her be a little compassionate to Zuko. After the other three air their grievances, Azula just laughs it off and treats it as a show. But we did see a bit of vulnerability in Azula. She believed her mother viewed her as a monster, which did bother her, and this comes back to bite her big time. Azula and Ursa's relationship is a subject for another time. I know people believe Ursa should be the one to reach out to her, but Ursa could end up like Han Solo in The Force Awakens if she tried that now. What happened between Azula and Suki that led to Azula declaring Suki her favorite prisoner? Well, we don't know. This is a children's show. 
But it's also shown that she sees Ty Lee and May as tools to be used as she takes on elements of both in this fight. But when Ty Lee and May betray her to help Zuko, this is where Azula starts to snap. More people who were supposed to be hers preferred Zuko over her. Azula feels entitled to have these connections because she is the princess. She won't admit she's bothered by them not being her friends anymore, but that is a factor. But Azula has no qualms trying to kill her brother now. I'm not going to go too deep into her mental breakdown since that's not the focus of the video. Azula has some moments where she can maybe show some compassion, but it's always done if it benefits her. She didn't treat her friends as friends, just things she could use, and when they rebelled against her, she couldn't comprehend things like love and trust, showing that she's very much an example of evil cannot comprehend good. Which brings us to the ultimate question. Does Azula deserve redemption? In my opinion, no. She has not displayed enough characteristics to show that she is worthy of being redeemed. You can sympathize with her situation, even feel pity for her, but what gets lost in the shuffle is that we should not whitewash her evil acts and try to pretend she did to be altruistic. Azula is a tragic villain, but a villain nonetheless. I feel Azula works best as the dark half of Zuko, what he could have become. So while Zuko takes the path to right the Fire Nation's wrongs, Azula should take the opposite path. I also think the writers of the comics realize something. Azula is too damaged to be fully redeemed, or at least that's my observation. An Azula redemption story doesn't personally interest me. I don't think Azula would ever be the gang's friend. I think she really does hate them with all her heart. I've heard people say they want Azula to earn life through redemption because, well, she should be allowed to live, right? But honestly, we had that story with Zuko. If Azula absolutely had to be redeemed, I'm sorry, but it would have to end with a redemption equals death like Darth Vader, or maybe Megatron from the IDW Transformers comics, where she has to go on trial for her crimes, and it's very heavily implied that she was executed for them. Or you could take her down the path of, say, Robotnik from the Fleetway Sonic comics, where she just goes completely irrevocably insane and just wants to watch the world burn. This is why I said that Azula has layers and that there is a lot to her, but we must remember, she is still a villain. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit that bell, like, and subscribe button. If you want updates, join my Discord, or if you want to support me, check out my Patreon, which is in the description below. See you next time.